All right, so Young and May and her barber officially respond to the viral video circling around the internet where she appears to be sick. Now, I have talked to many of you since my video has been circulating, and many of you believe that it is jaundice. Now, if you guys don't know what jaundice is, jaundice is a condition where your liver fails to properly filter the toxins and things going on within your body, which leads up to a buildup of bile. Now, this bile then starts to show up in your eyes and in your skin, which is, of course, what we're watching or at least see in these videos. Now, of course, also, you can notice if you look at the video that her hair also appears to be um, thinning and she appears to also be balding. Now, of course, since this video went viral, many people uh, started to question why the barber would even post this video. And so many of you thought that he was filed for doing so which led to him responding to this video by saying that he would never do anything like that to embarrass his sister. And in fact, Young and May knew that he was recording and even recorded or even reposted the video herself. He says that the only reason he posted the video is because he basically wanted to show the transformation because she has not had a haircut in a month. She then responds to that video saying that uh, it's all love, blutter. Uh, is what she called him and she said do not worry about it and I told you it has been four months now here's where my analytical thinking super sleuth mind comes in because of course as I'm digging up information on this story I discovered the barber's um, Instagram page and on the Instagram page there is one additional post of Young and May and that was posted on March 4th the video that he posted was on March 14th, which is a 10 day difference. And a lot of you immediately question, how does she go from looking like that to look into how she looks now, if it has only been 10 days, which makes now a lot more sense that she has not had a haircut in four months, which now leads me to believe again, just follow me that she may have been in and out of the hospital within that four month time frame, uh, time frame or have has been in therapy or rehab during that time. And now that she's maybe possibly, hopefully on the other side of whatever she's dealing with, she was now comfortable enough or healthy enough to go out uh, into the world and get a haircut, etc. Because right now it looks like somebody is lying. You did not cut Young and May's hair on the 4th and then turn around and cut it again on the 14th but claim that she has not had a haircut in a month. Does not make sense. Regardless, none of my business as well. I understand it's none of my business how he posts his content or how long it's actually been since she's had a haircut. My point is, things just didn't make sense and so I had to, you know, get my reporter mind going. But regardless, uh, I understand a lot of you guys don't like when content creators or people speak on other people's health. I totally get it and which is why I try to be as respectful as I can when I report on these stories. So please guys understand that I um, really want to be as careful and respectful as I can when reporting on these things because I get it. I wouldn't want somebody out here throwing and slapping labels uh of what my family members are going through so i totally get it so regardless of the fact man prayers up for young ma man um and, and i want to go with the theory that she is now becoming healthier i definitely want to go with that theory since which is why she's been gone for so long but regardless just keep her in your prayers and uh that's all i got to say about